Good afternoon, back again. This time I'm here to uh, show you a way to keep your fish alive in your live well. I fish bass tournaments in a bass club. The guys are always bringing um, ice with them to cool their live wells down. Especially in the hot summer months, the night tournaments, um, the water cools down a little bit at night. Your live well heats up really fast and fish get shocked when you put them in and makes them tough for them to survive. So most of the time um, we lose our fish, it's in the summer tournaments, especially at night. I always uh, wanted to know that um, temperature of my live well water. So I was searching for a temperature gauge, digital temperature gauge with, with a remote probe um, online so I could mount a temperature, um, digital temperature gauge at my console and still be able to sense my live well water. So. I actually found one better. I found the uh, digital temperature gauge with a probe um, and it's also a heat cool temperature relay gauge. So I'll show you that. That is this here. Um, it's a fairly small unit, probably about two and a half inches. Um, now it's reading, it's reading the temperature that's in my live well right now, which there's no water in there, it's hot in there, the hatch is closed, so it's 94.1 degrees. So the way this would work, um, so you would arrive at the lake, um, on your depth finder, you should have a, uh, a good temperature, accurate temperature reading on there. And the entire lake should be about the, the same average temperature within one or two degrees. So. You, you would arrive at the lake, say you read your temperature, let's just say for this video, the temperature of the lake is 94, um, 94 degrees. So I just pump the lake water into my live well and the temperature probe is reading the 94.1 degrees. So now what I would do is, you know the lake water is roughly 94 degrees. So you're gonna hold this set button Press it down, I mean, I'm sorry. And you're going to set that at 94 degrees. And press the set again. So now your 94 degree temp is locked in. So now what you're going to do is hold down the set button. It's going to bring up a bunch of options. First one, whether you want it in heat or cool mode. So you can press that. Let me just swap hands here. So like I said, first option, heat or cool mode. So you can press the set button. It'll let you switch between cool, heat. Okay, so we're gonna keep it in, in cool mode because we want the live well to start when the temperature gets too hot. All right, so it went back here. So we're gonna go back into the menu. Now you also can set an alarm. Um, so if, you can set an alarm for, say, if the lake water is 94 degrees, you can set it at 100. So when it gets to 100, it's going to start flashing on the display here. But let's just say we're actually fishing, and we want to set it for a reasonable, a reasonable um, value. So this is D is the hysteresis, which is the difference in values. Keeps going back to the display. So we're gonna go to D and we're gonna set it. So we'll set it so that, say five degrees. We're gonna set that, we're gonna wait. Now, we have 94 degrees set in our set value because that's what the lake water was when we got on there. So anytime the lake water, or the live well water, um, gets hot and rises five degrees, the unit is going to kick on and start to fill the live well until the new lake water being brought in brings the live well temp back down to the 94 degrees. And I'll show you, I'll show you what the probe looks like. This here is the probe, just a small um, resisted probe, very tiny. 
actually comes with a uh, 10 foot um, lead on it. I did have to extend mine. You can extend it, um, which is no problem, but it is a resistive probe. So going a short distance wouldn't matter. You obviously can't go 50 feet because when you add resistance to the line by adding too much wire, you're going to change the readings of the probe. So it's a very, very good setup. Um, it's going to prevent me from having to use ice. It's going to guarantee me that um, my live well water is always um, roughly the same temperature as the lake. And I had it set at 5 degrees. You can set it at 2 degrees if you want. So if your live well raises 2 degrees, um, you can have it kick on then. And again, it will pump water in until it pumps enough lake water in that it uh, cools the live well down back to what the temp you have set is. Now I went one step further and I have a spray bar aerator in my live well that normally is on a cycle timer. Um, now I paralleled it up with this so that whenever this starts to fill my live well because it's getting too hot it will also start my spray bar aerator. I did this because my pickup, the pump for my aerator, spray bar aerator is towards the bottom of the live well. So I figured by starting the aerator the same time this timer starts to fill to cool the live well down, it'll help circulate the water, bringing it from the bottom to the top. If you, uh, if you guys want a diagram on how to wire this, just post a comment. Um, it does come with um, three sets of terminals. The first terminal is 12 volts DC. It's not polarity sensitive, so you can hook it up either way you want. Second terminal um, would be the sensor terminals, which are, um, it's just two terminals. That's also not polarity sensitive. That's where the probe will hook up. The next two terminals are the relay contacts. That's where your power will come in on one contact terminal and your um, live well.